as far as the G20 uh, meeting is concerned at this point in time, well, we know that the G20 summit will be hosted at the state-of-the-art Bharat Mandapam Convention Center. The top world leaders are all supposed to reach today. Now, U.S. President Joe Biden is on his way, expected to reach Delhi this evening. He is scheduled to hold a bilateral with the Prime Minister Modi shortly after landing. And the U.S. focus will uh, primarily be on uh, GE jet engines and uh, civil nuclear technology. India has also officially requested for top-notched weaponized drones and the bilaterals are uh, well also lined up with Mauritius and Bangladesh today as well. Now, UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau are also scheduled to reach today. Well, uh, IMF Chief uh, Kristalina Georgieva, President of uh, European Commission Ursula von der Leyen, are already in the capital. So these are uh, all the lineups today that are going to take place. A uh, few bilaterals uh, today that are going to happen uh, with the Mauritius and Bangladesh and also with the US at this point in time. These are today's the schedule. And uh, well, we know that the G20 summit will be hosted at the state of the art uh, Bharat Mandapam Convention Center uh, at the Pragati Medan. And uh, top world leaders are all supposed to reach today. Many dignitaries have already arrived. And the leaders, including Joe Biden uh, and uh, Justin Trudeau and uh, Rishi Sunak, of course, are on their way. They're expected to reach Delhi this evening. Well, a bilateral uh, with the U.S. president uh, is scheduled to take place uh, shortly after his landing. And the focus of U.S. will uh, primarily be on the jet engines and the civil nuclear technology. India has also requested for uh, top-notch weaponized drones. Shivani Sharma, my colleague, is joining me on the phone line at this point in time. Uh, Shivani, we know that the G20 summit is going to be hosted at the state-of-the-art Bharat Mandapam Convention Centre and the top world leaders are all supposed to reach today. Give us the details as far as what is in schedule for today. See, uh, the most important bilateral that's going to happen today is between Joe Biden, the U.S. President, and the uh, Prime Minister. That will happen in the evening today. And it's very important because uh, the jet engine deals, the predator deals, the 5G and 6G deals, they are, all being go they are all going to be discussed. And apart from that, we also have a bilateral between uh, Bangladesh and uh, uh, other nations. So today, Prime Minister will be holding four important important uh, bilaterals. And in these three days, what we are now learning is that Prime Minister will be uh, attending more than 15 bilateral meetings with the world leaders. So today, if we talk about uh, Prime Minister's meetings, it is with Mauritius, Bangladesh, USA. And these bilaterals will be held at uh, 7 LKM, that is Prime Minister's residence. If we talk about tomorrow, the uh, G20 meetings will be going on and also bilateral meetings with the United Kingdom, Japan, Germany and Italy. And uh, on 10th, Prime Minister will be holding a working lunch meeting with President Macron of France and uh, he will also do a full uh, aside meeting with Canada and bilateral meetings with uh, uh, Turkey, UAE, South Korea, Brazil and Nigeria and European Union Comoros. So all in all, around 15 bilaterals will happen by uh, the sidelines of G20 summit where we'll see a, a, a blockbuster event in Mandapam Convention Center in Delhi for which the delegates have already started arriving. And today in the evening, President of the United States, Joe Biden, will also be landing and uh, he'll uh, straight away head for a bilateral with Prime Minister Modi at his residence. All right, uh, Shivani, thank you for uh, getting us all the details there on uh, this, uh, of course, uh, coming in the significant day, of course, the G20 summit that is all set to begin uh, tomorrow and today. All the world leaders are going to be joining in in India. They will be coming in and we will be, of course, tracking all the details as far as the G20 summit is concerned.